Hi, you're watching Lifestyle by Lulu. I'm Louise O'Reilly. On Lifestyle by Lulu, we have interviews, demonstrations and top tips from some of Ireland's leading bloggers, fashion and hairstylists, makeup and beauty junkies, plus all that is trending in the world of fashion and lifestyle. Coming up on the show, accessories from Stella and Dot. How to create an upstyle in under five minutes. Fashion stylist Celia Holman Lee. Red carpet makeup looks and celebrity style icon Josh McClory. First, I met up with stylist for Stella and Dot, Brenda O'Leary. I am delighted to be joined by stylist for Stella and Dot, Brenda O'Leary, and she's here to talk to us about all the fabulous accessories that you ladies can get your hands on. So, Brenda, thank you very much for joining us on Lifestyle by Lulu. I'm very excited about the Stella and Dot brand, but tell us a little bit more about how Stella and Dot is so unique. Oh, thank you, Louise, for having me. Louise, Stella and Dot is just fantastic. It's the most versatile brand of June plus accessories and you'll find all the trains very high quality very well made affordable it's got everything it's got everything yes Something for absolutely everybody. yes you have um, picked out your, your your kind of key pieces yes that you would recommend um, the ladies to get their hands on and um, so talk us through some of your favorite pieces Brenda okay Louise so we're in receipt now of our uh, spring summer collection so all the new pieces are starting to arrive in I um, I have picked out the pieces that I particularly love and as I said we do more than just jewellery it's also accessories so we're going to start with the City Slim clutch. I absolutely adore this clutch. Um, beautiful bold black and white colours, the monochrome and just that lovely little leather finish. Um, all finished off with beautiful lining and gorgeous card to hold your cards. This is an absolute must. Beautiful bag and it will go with any outfit. Really, really love that, Louise. I think really you have your eye on that yeah, one. Yeah, I really have my eye on it. <laughs> I want everything. This whole collection is amazing. And um, following on from that, we've got the Madison Tech Wallet. Now, this is a must-have. Beautiful, beautiful nautical colours with a little pop of neon. Smartphone sits right inside, which every lady, lady needs. And, of course, inside we have all the necessary compartments from laser cards to coins, Blush or lipstick, you're ready to go, Louise. You don't need anything else. Beautiful, beautiful addition to the spring collection and comes in a variation of colours. Fantastic. I love the little, um, you can just hang it on your wrist so like that you can, even if you're on a night out or something like that, you can just, you know, go boogie in and, and everything is safe. Absolutely. <laughs> and plus, if you didn't like it, it's totally detachable, yeah, which is awesome. really, really a great, great product. Gorgeous. So we're going to move on to some of the, I suppose, the, the, the jewellery pieces and um, some amazing pieces here. Let's talk us through your, your favourite pieces. Right, my favourite, and we'll probably start with the Larry necklace. This is the the area pendant, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, delicate piece. It's all about layering with Stella and Dot. So we're talking delicate, fine, long layers. This beautiful three piece has quartz, real quartz stones. So you'll notice there'll be a variation because they're so natural. And this is so versatile that we can detach the long layering, and we're left with stunning pieces to wear individually. That is amazing. Yeah, that one of our best sellers. And what's beautiful about it is it's so well, they're all gold plated Louise to very, very high industry standards. So we typically um, expect about four times plating with Stella and Dot, we're up to seven times. So you're talking about quality that doesn't tarnish and will keep very, very well once you look after it, Louise. Um, I'll move on to a bracelet here, the Amelie Sparkle. A really stunning, very simple crowd pleaser at 39 euro. This is really, really exceptional, yeah. Louise. Um, it's like under 50 euro, what a bargain. Yeah. And, it, it, and we were just looking at the weight. I'm just gonna like particularly hold this one up because I really like this. I love my bracelets. But the weight of that, it's gorgeous. And so blingy, as you said, and you could um, change up any outfit or for like a wedding or bridesmaids it's perfect absolutely Louise and um, comfortable as well which is which is a priority you don't know you're wearing a lot of our pieces also available in silver and in a peach color so it suits all studs to match and also um, the gold necklace which we see here complements it as well um, at 54 euro so they're really 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 great price point um, also 
the Zoe Lyrith, which is the most versatile piece in the collection, Louise. And this you will have for your little black dress for most of your life. <laughs> this, is, this is the one, the go-to piece. The go-to piece, and this is loved by all. This can be worn very simply knotted, down like that, will sit so simply. Or we can turn it into a bracelet, we can wear it as a choker, and it's a mixed metal, so it will go with all outfits, silver, rose gold, and a really quality mature piece. Ear jackets, th these actually make a, a superb gift. Those ear jackets cup around the ear and we interchange the stud. So we have this beautiful, beautiful stud. And I'll tell you, they are hot property, selling out and hard to get your hands on. So they are really, really, really our best seller at the moment. Wonderful, brilliant. And you have some of them in stock. So. Absolutely. <laughs> They know it's and finally, for my top picks, but they're all my top picks, Louise, is this Natalie statement piece. This stunning, stunning mixed metal. We rarely mix silver and gold, and this works. Love that. Very and unusual, very different, very much the statement piece. And they say that every lady should have a statement necklace in, absolutely. Her, in, her, well, in their collection. And this won't date, which is fabulous. And then if you want to be a little bit bolder, just flip it round. I didn't show you this, They're Louise. <laughs> They're all surprised. And we've got a lovely, lovely pop of blue. So with your blacks, your whites, your greys, that works. Even pop it on yellow for a big bowl look, and that is an absolutely gorgeous, very comfortable, stunning piece, Louise. I love that. As you said, they're so affordable and so versatile. So one piece, so many different ways you can wear it. Absolutely, which, yes. Which I love, I love. Goes with lots of outfits. Tell us about the trunk shows, because um, if any of our viewers want to have a special uh, styling session with yourself, you're available. Absolutely, Louise. So all the new craze. Yeah, and I mean, the only way, I mean, you go into a retail shop, you, you can't try them all on. So, we do nights, evenings, events, girls' nights in. Absolutely love it. Everybody gets to try on pieces that they typically wouldn't wear. We style them, we have fun, and it's a fantastic night. So get in touch. I'm available and I don't mind any night of the week. So Brenda, I know celebrities are gone absolutely crazy for the Stell and Dot uh, brand. Tell us some of the celebrities like uh, Gwen Stefani and Vanessa Hudgens amazing absolutely they all love it and recently we see that it's taken off in ireland and we see the likes of glenda gilson the girls in Exposé. they're all really really loving it and it's just the big news so brenda for, so for more information and if people want to buy into the sell and dot brand how can they do so contact me on my Facebook page, uh, Stella Dot by Brenda O'Leary, and get in touch, have a fun night, or if you're interested in working with Stella and Dot, there's always opportunities for girls there as well. So, fantastic all round, and thank you so much, Louise. That was great, thank you so much, Brenda. Some beautiful pieces there from Stella and Dot. Next, we have her stylist, Gemma Carlin, from Deja Vu. Well, celebrity hairstyles are a great source of inspiration. Yes, I'm here with Gemma in Deja Vu and she is going to help us create a simple upstyle in under five minutes. Well, Gemma, you're working away here on Kira's hair. So tell us a little bit about the inspiration for today's look. So Louise, today we're going to um, create a waterfall ponytail. This is seen on the catwalk a lot, uh, on the red carpets, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, uh, Isla Fisher had it recently on the Oscars. So it's quite simple, it can be done in five minutes. I've kind of tonged it already, quite soft, I've used the GHD, quite a big barrel, but um, it's not whatever's most suitable for you. So what we're going to start off with is taking sections from the front here, leave out from the crown area out. So I want to take that back in the wee while. I'm going to do a light spray with this, a bobbin, just any normal. You can either go mid, high, low. Some people, Kim Kardashian, and you see her now, she has it quite low with sleek. It's quite versatile. So today I'm going to go with a loose look, but keep it quite low. So very little needed for this, a hair bobbin, oh, yeah. hairspray and a brush and maybe some tongs if you want to get a bit of body before. Very little and if you had any sort of wave, you could actually add extensions into this if you wanted to. Quite, give it a great pull on it, a little bit of spray, I use some serum as well which we'll use at the end. Um, yeah, back home a brush really and a paddle brush. So you can see it's quite loose, you can make it curlier, you could have it really sleek, straight. So this section I'm going to back home this and give it a wee bit of body. 
Oh, the good old back coming. Oh, yeah. We love the back <laughs> This coming. is just magic. Yes. A bit of texturizing. And kira has got gorgeous hair. She has no extensions. This is her own natural hair. No, Kira's. But you can do this on, you know, mid-length or short hair. You can, as you said, add extensions yes. if needed. From shoulder length down, really, it's perfect. It's ideal. And um, extensions are fabulous as well. You can actually get a ponytail as well that will look sort of similar to the style we're doing today. Yeah. So you're back combing this top part of the crown. Yeah, quite soft, not too much. It's quite loose. Also, you could kind of wave it if you wanted. You could take the curling tongue up as far as this area and like do a soft wave. You've seen Eva Longoria wear that kind of style a good few times. So I'm gonna like do this here. Quite yeah, soft, just, just kind of taking it in. A few pins. I find you don't want to take too much in. We're going to be covering this so you don't have to be too particular. So you're just securing it really on securing it, yes, yeah. On one side, you're just pulling it to one side that particular piece. Yes, exactly. Um. Right. So and then it's yeah. So we're going to wrap around the ponytail, around the hair, quite soft. You can tug at the hair, make it quite. Sometimes you might want this. You might just keep the ponytail out and leave less hair around the bobbin but some, I think it's nice to cover it up. Now Perfect. you will tease at this you know. So you I really, quite like the soft yeah. idea of it you know. Yeah and then it, I suppose it's not as hard for people just to be worrying about you get it so secure as well. Yeah no you'd, it will be fine once you have that bobbin in there. So now we're going to take these sections here at the front. Slight bit of back home and it depends on the face. Kind of Kira we're going to keep it quite soft. You could wave that wee bit as well. Bit of back combing slight bit of spray. At this stage, if you wanted to kind of have that sleek look, you'd come in with a bit of serum with your hands and slide it in here softly to the scalp. I'm going to take a little bit of pin there. You're flying Just there, check Gemma. to see. It's such a good style, honestly. <laughs> see how quickly, yeah, this is... There is really nothing to it, to be honest, Louise. It's so And simple. looks so, so glamorous as well. So glamorous. Such a nice alternative to maybe the hair down as well. Or Yeah, it's actually got quite popular, like the balayage looks now with the soft blonde on the ends, that ombre kind of style. It looks really good with it. Um, so now, this would be great look for if you have a special event, like a wedding or confirmation or communion, anything like that definitely. coming up. This is yeah, something you could try. It's, it's such a glamorous style. As well, uh, the front there as well, if you wanted. Some people will have bangs at the front. They're lovely to leave out. Or you could sweep, again, keep it sleek. I'm gonna pin in this last little section. Now, obviously you can do that a wee bit looser, as I was saying to you. I'm gonna now use a paddle brush. I find this great um, paddle brush for teasing out the hair, giving a bit of texturizing to it. Really the, the bobby pins are the saviour for this look. <laughs> it's all about the bobby pins. <laughs> and you know, it doesn't really matter if you see them coming out. It's not a big deal either. You can tease this out. You can put very little to it. It's great. So this is definitely something I think I could try myself. Definitely. Now you can also spend more time at it if you want it to be a wee bit more particular, but I think it's quite an easy style, as you can see. And you can then tongue. even add the curling tongs at the end or yes. at the start to, to finish it off. Brilliant, you said you'd add some serum and, and some hairspray yeah, then definitely. just to finish off. a little bit of serum. And you know, serum, you'll never go too wrong with having that product in your press. <laughs> it's <laughs> always one to add to the style with a straight curly, just taking a wee bit of frizz out of it. Which is gorgeous, and you're, oh, lovely. It's very soft, very effortless. Um, really nice. Perfect. And there you go. Yeah, that's Five it. Five minutes. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that was so fast. That was brilliant. Right. Well, I know I'm certainly going to have to give this um, upstyle a go this weekend. Thanks very much, Shema. That's brilliant. Now I caught up with fashion stylist, presenter, former model, and founder of one of Ireland's longest-running modelling agencies, Celia Holman Lee. I am delighted to be joined by Celia Holman Lee, and she's here with us in the Hotel Kilmore. Um, Celia, lovely yeah. to uh, have you, you on you Lifestyle much. by Lulu. Yeah, delighted to be on, and um, it's lovely to be up in Cavan. Last year I was here, but 
in my heyday was to model the length and breadth of around here. So it's great to be yeah. back up. I love coming up here. Great, you're very yeah. welcome. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about today's show and well, what you have in store yeah, for us. To me, I think it's one of the biggest fashion, biggest wedding fairs. Uh, I mean, I work all the South now, everywhere in the South. But, and you know, you find it hard to find something uh, as big as this, a, a wedding fair as big as this with as, that amount of stands. The hotel itself is spectacular. What can you say? Isn't it just Gorgeous. spectacular? Really I mean, you know, you just, everywhere you look, it's just luxurious, it's beautiful. And of course, Kate and Ross, the owners, are just the nicest people in the world to work, to um, look after you. So personally, I think it's, um, it's one of the best venues we've been in in a long time. Fantastic. You have some of your beautiful models. Thank you. Behind Thank us. you. Yes, you know, one of the yes. longest running models. Yeah, we are. In we're the longest running models in HC in Ireland. And uh, as I said, yeah, I've been all over <laughs> and back down again and back up again. <laughs> Tell us what we have in store um, in regards to the trends for this season. Well, wedding dresses are becoming a little bit more elaborate. They're still going for the fishtail. They love the fishtail. There was a time I would be saying to you, it was the self-train that you could remove. No, 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 the fishtail. Um, veils are in, out, out, in. You know, it seems to be the bride's decision on that. They don't seem to be going with trends on that. And, and a tremendous amount of beading, as I said, as well. And a kind of an influence of, uh, we're going to see one or two of them through the show, of kind of Indian, some, you know, Indian brides with an awful lot of embellishment. Gorgeous. And hair then can be up or down again, depending on the bride whether it's on trend or not. Excellent. Yeah. We have beautiful menswear as well. Yeah, Fantastic. The men are very yeah. Very as well. Yeah, huh? we have um, you know, we've boils there in I know they're in they're nearly gone as long as myself, I think. And you know, they have another menswear there, Matt O'Brien, and they have D T one menswear, as well as all the Erica's Bridal Gap, you know, and they have Elegant Lady and Lady Day. And they have everybody in between. Fantastic. Some great advice for anyone planning their big day. Well, from red carpet to red lips, Deirdre O'Reilly has all her top tips. Well, I am here at the beautiful surroundings of the Farnham Estate Radisson Blue Hotel, and I am joined by professional makeup artist and teacher in Sally Noggin College, Deirdre O'Reilly, and she is here to tell us all about today's makeup look. So Deirdre, thank you very much for joining us on Life Side by Lulu. Tell us about the inspiration for today's look. A lot of my influences is from Spring Summer Trends 2016. So um, starting from the start then, what I used was products wise, skincare, I, it's so important to always you know, have good skincare because it really, really just does show through in the makeup. So we use the stroke cream from MAC. So this is starting yeah. off in this beautiful look. I love this, the stroke cream, it's so popular. Yeah. So this is like your kind of base. Yeah, your base. So yeah. it's an, an illuminating uh, moisturizer. So if you actually popped it on your hand, you can see that it gives you that really subtle glow underneath your foundation. Um, it also can be used, you can mix it in with your foundations as well to create a different texture so you can see that kind of pearlized pigment coming through it. Gorgeous. Yeah, and it was actually, supposedly it was used on Kylie Minogue's bottom for a video. Oh right, yes. okay. Um, so it's good spinning enough for Kylie. Around. It's her, good enough for her bum, it's good enough for <laughs> your face. For your yeah. face, beautiful. And that beautiful, so it's a great yeah, start. Yeah, fabulous, um, fabulous um, starting point. Brilliant. Yeah. Now this is yeah. the foundation of foundations. Oh, this is the one everyone's time. raving about, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah, it's the Giorgio Armani, the Luminous Silk. So it's a really lightweight foundation, but it's got a fabulous finish, really um, luminous, really um, velvety on the skin. Again, it photographs really, really well. Um, a lot of my brides and I would love to wear that one um, in particular. It's got really good coverage in it yeah. as well. I love this. Yeah. So. I really love this. This is really... And of course, you can see on, on um, Frida that beautiful... Yeah. Um, just flawless, flawless very dewy and definitely and that's and definitely one of the trends for this season yeah. um, a real skin is what's what people want nowadays they don't want that really heavy contoured look yeah. that we would have seen back in probably the uh, winter time so there's definitely a step away from that heavy contouring finish and it's more about just bringing out the natural beauty of a person so um, what I went in with then next was the Chanel um, mm. bronzer, yeah. So a lovely high-end texture. product, so this is I'm, definitely yeah. a, a product you could treat yourself Absolutely, to. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, well Frida deserved it, I think. <laughs> so um, 
definitely it's a gel gel based formula oh as well I'm so just open it here yeah, yeah. Oh, right okay so this is so it doesn't sit like a normal bronzer would you know there's no harsh lines you really just mold it into the skin and melt it into the skin oh, right. Look at so that. you can kind of the more you blend it the more of a fade you'll get so you really as you can see yeah. you only need a very tiny, amount, tiny bit so tiny i've gone a bit amount. crazy there now you're fine <laughs> yeah uh, with that but very very yeah that's what yeah. so very little uh, very little product <laughs> yeah very little product goes a long way gorgeous and again it gives you more of a sheen to the skin so get, yeah. again with the trend it's more about like a sun kiss look rather than a real heavy tanned look yeah. so it's getting away from that kardashian contoured effect and this is so this is the, definitely the key to getting that beautiful lip that you can yeah. see on a free day and um, yeah today so oh, yeah i love that color yes yeah. it's gorgeous so it's um lady dangerous called so it's a red tone but it's more of an orangey red yeah. so great for irish skins because it's got that nice warmth in it um and it's a matte texture because i wanted it to contrast to the skin that was quite sheeny quite dewy and the eyes that were quite dewy so a matte lip is just sets it off yeah. so deirdre mm -hmm. um you also uh, do wedding makeup yes and if anybody wants to know where they could get in touch with you how can they do so yeah well um my facebook page is just deirdre o'reilly you'll find me you should find me on that <laughs> um and also i my email address is just deirdre o'reilly one at gmail.com and finally, Lee guitarist from The Stripes, Josh McClory, spills the beans on all his top fashion secrets. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me. It's all right. Yeah, I got Josh Point to Guinness. Uh, very rock and roll. <laughs> and he made it into the top 50 best dressed men in GQ. GQ magazine. So GQ magazine is like, it's a UK based magazine. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was back in 2013. Um, yeah, it was weird. We we did um, uh, we did the they did an award ceremony in 2013 and we played on it. Um, and then I think that's probably how they kind of find out about us. Uh, and just for being in London and playing gigs in England. And uh, yeah, uh, I think the, the reason I got in it uh, and every, all the other lads didn't was because I was the only 18 year old. And it was like best dressed men in the year. And I think they said in the article that the lads couldn't get in it. Oh, right. Long, so. Yeah, because you're all, you all have a great kind of sense of style and, and great sense of fashion. But it was, yeah, literally, like you're probably the only Irish guy. I look back at the list and you came in at a very respectable uh, 30. Yeah. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's one for the wall. Um, and um, more recently, I suppose, we, we were looking back at your style over the years sure. uh, from the band started. Your style has really, really evolved. Yeah. Um, it's kind of went from, you know, the sharp kind of suits, but more kind of casual laid-back look now we see you yeah. wearing but who would your kind of style inspiration be um well i guess when i was like starting out in the band and we were about 15 or 16 i was really into the mod scene and, and really into like people like paul weller and miles kane and, and and then all the 60s bands as well and they all dressed really sharp so uh, the suits thing was a really big thing for us and it made us stand out quite a bit initially yeah. and we got a lot of attention from it um, but then i guess as i just got older i just got into new things and new bands and um I don't really have one or two, you know, I don't have a few style influences now uh, in terms of people, but I just like I just like people who look cool and I like people who you know, don't have one very particular style, you know, I, I kind of like to just change it up. Yeah, or dress for your like. mood. Yeah, yeah, and just like if I want to wear a suit or something, that, that it's there or whatever, yeah, but just yeah. that, I, I like the idea that people in bands and people in general like, you know make an effort and, yeah. and you know try and look cool <laughs> when you're in a big band like the stripes obviously you have a lot of people looking at your side looking at your image and kind of trying to kind of i suppose copy what you're wearing so you know do you ever think about that that people are actually looking at you you know to say oh what's josh mcclory wearing yeah. you know <laughs> not really no <laughs> um i don't know if anyone wants to wear if anyone wants to wear oversized uh Shots, check but, shirts yeah. hey? you're bringing back the check yeah, shirts for sure I, yeah, I'm sure it was done before but yeah, yeah. I, I don't know I never thought about it like that yeah um, obviously the likes of Bowie and Lemmy Bowie in particular is such a huge style icon mm. um, you know would you kind of looked to, to Bowie or at all or any of these kind of style icons um, musically yeah. um, with your style uh, well yeah I mean I suppose with Bowie like obviously I was never into this specific 
clothes that he wore, you know, because yeah. he they were mental. <laughs> it's very um, wacky. But what I did love and, and what I love about his music and about his style is that it, it does keep evolving the whole time and that yeah. you can see that he didn't just like say, oh, I'm good at this, I'm going to stick to this for the rest of my life, you know, that he just kept, you know, reinventing himself and, and, and that's something that, uh, you know, I think is really cool with artists that yeah. they just, you know, keep progressing and the more things that they get into that that influences their music and, and you know, style and fashion as well. Yeah, so obviously you were like 15 when you started in the Stripes, yeah. you're now 20, so obviously you're going to change and, and yeah. styles change over the years. Sure. Um, do you feel that um, when you do gigs and different things or with your record company, are they trying to kind of put you in a kind of a, you know, what they want you to wear? Do they want to yeah. dress you or, you know, do they let, let you guys dress yourselves? Yeah, initially they kind of wanted to do, you know, change a lot of the stuff and, and I wanted us to, you know, wear certain things, but we were just really stubborn, you know, because, we, we you know, we all know how to dress ourselves, you know, we're not eight, you know what I mean? And that's what we think is like, if you're, you know, a human being that's over the age of eight or nine year old, you know, you don't need someone else to dress you anymore. Yeah. So, you know, and, and we're quite aware of, you know, of fashion and, and, and what we want to look like and, and how we want to present ourselves, you know, yeah. as a band. And uh, so, no, so the, there's never any real interference with, with the fashion. I suppose, like, where a lot of, as what you're saying about it changing over the last couple of years, like, I think my influences has changed, like, in terms of, like, I kind of get influenced by my friends a lot. And, yeah. like, you know, if one of, one of my mates at home, like, I don't know, gets a cool shirt or something, and you go, oh, shit, why should get I that? Really want you know? that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we all kind of, my friends at home and, and, and the boys in the band, we all influence each other as well. Yeah, which is great. Um, you, you Actually, recently you guys played at one of the fashion shows in, over in London, is that right? Um, yeah, for, for Versace, for, yeah. For, for Versace. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, for Versace. We got right. loads of free clothes. I, really? <laughs> yeah, Did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right, I got right. these jeans. <laughs> right, so these are, there we go. I was going to say, what are you wearing? Yeah. So these are Versace jeans. Yeah, I've been wearing I mean, them for about two weeks. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you were sleeping in yeah. them. You could like sell them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> so you got loads of clothes. From yeah. Versace, and did you meet, get to meet the, the designer yourself? Yeah, or? we met uh, Donatello. Yeah, yeah. Donatello. and I saw some of them, them pictures. The <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we, we did. There was like a. It was London Fashion Week, and they were just doing like a catwalk event. They wanted us to play songs over. It was really weird because, like, it was the first time we were ever like sort of exposed to the actual fashion industry and how hilarious the whole thing is, and they're so uptight, and you know they're really lovely. Everyone was really nice to us, um, but like. You could see everyone, you know, it was like two minutes left and before everyone walked yeah, in and they were like, we need to get this. And so it was a big, it was a stressful day, but it was worth it because we got loads of free clothes. Yeah. And, and we had what a great experience. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you had all these models just, you know. Walking to our tunes. Yeah, yeah that must have been, uh, yeah, honorary, like you're 20 and you're standing there going, I mean, you're living, <laughs> you're living the dream, Josh. <laughs> well, they listened to the tunes, but we didn't get to open them. Back, so. <laughs> next time, next yeah. time. Um, again, uh, just sir, recently you, um, Tatler Men Music Awards, applauding the men that are making a difference in yeah. their respective fields and um, the Stripes, you obviously won the award, sure. the Music Award, yeah. so that was a great achievement and, and that, that award was just bef uh, before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was late, um, late last year, um, but it was great, that was a really good event because um, we, we kind of felt like we kind of shouldn't have been there because we sat down and we watched, it. everyone got up and made a speech whenever they got the, the awards and uh, I love it. The whole thing was sort of focused around men's health, and, and it was really interesting watching. Like, like Brezzy was there, and uh, there was a young comedian as well. And, and but they, they they all got up and they made these really fantastic speeches about yeah. like men's health and how great it is, you know that uh, that it's coming on so much in Ireland, and then people are talking about it and stuff. And um, we were there and we didn't know what to say. Like we were like, I don't know what to say, you know. And we just yeah. walked up and we just like, I don't know what we said. Just something what really, was your something really yeah, silly. Like I don't <laughs> know what it was. But then we came back down and then Brezzy got up and made this like. 10 minute speech about men's health and depression and it was amazing. And I suppose that's really his thing at, yeah, at the minute as well. Yeah, you, sure. you know, you're rock stars, you know, you kind of, you know, you just have to kind of keep it all moody and yeah. don't say too much, don't give too much away. <laughs> that, that's, yeah. that's what you're meant to do. But, um, so, what you're wearing, you're saying Versace jeans, your shirt, where would you go yeah. and buy your clothes? Uh, do you go shopping for clothes? Or you, yeah, yeah, I mean, do you like going just, just to everywhere, like, I mean, I look a lot online and, and sort of get a lot of stuff off there, but, yeah, yeah, just the same as all other people my age. You go to Top Man and River Island and places like yeah, that. And like, uh, I got this shirt in Japan in a second-hand shop for like four yeah. quid. It was like ridiculous. Which is great. Cheap. I like all the vintage stores, which you kind of like yeah. like to kind of rummage around. In particular, London as well. And you spend a lot of time there. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, all the vintage a... shops over there are class as well, and you can just get really, yeah, really cool stuff everywhere now. You know, I think if this, if I had been, you know, this age, maybe 10, 15 years ago, it would have been really hard to 
get good clothes, but everyone yeah. my age and even people younger than me are dressed really well and yeah. they're like smart. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. Um, so we're talking, I suppose, hairstyles now, mm -hmm. and again, that was, you know, you kind of went from the kind of floppy, long, long hair, and even yeah. as a little kid, like in some of the videos before, long yeah. hair, so over the years, it, it's changed. Yeah. You know, you kind of sometimes, the beard, this, this whole look which was in, but sure. now you're kind of, you know, a little different style going on at the yeah. minute. So, who who does your hair? Who is your uh, go-to barber? A few different people, but uh, a lot of the time, uh, Anne Evans' mum, uh, she she's a salon called Talking Heads, and she does my hair sometimes. And then uh, I've recently started going to the um, place called Shop Shop in Cabin. Yeah. Uh, this guy called Deezer, who we know and we're mates with, and he just does really really good haircuts, and he's really good at just doing the, the haircut that I that I have now and and, and, and what. Yeah. Um, but that that's kind of just been influenced by my mates and, yeah. and sort of hanging out with them and um, get, getting it from them. But uh, I was always sort of like overly kind of into haircuts when yeah, I was a kid. You want like, to have good hair. <laughs> and I didn't get stabbed in back and forth because when I was like seven or eight, I was a massive United fan. And then I was a massive Beckham fan and he changed his hair every week. So I thought yeah. I should change my hair every week. Oh, yeah, I, I think he's I really leading the way with his hair, his whole image as well yeah, in yeah. particular. We're talking about David Beckham. He's definitely a man who loves his tattoos. So yeah. you've just started your kind of tattoo collection. Yeah, <laughs> as the such. craze. Yeah. The craze. So um, we've got one here on my even the camera. This is, yeah. and we've got a funny story about this. Uh, uh, so I've got a real tattoo here. <laughs> so just in case you get lost yeah. on tour in Japan. <laughs> That's yeah, where you should ship me back to if I ever get lost and not that. And then this is one I think we're going to get, but I, this is terrible permanent marker. If so this is know. like kind of a Roman numeral. I yeah. suppose for any of our uh, viewers who are watching yeah. around the world and not familiar with this particular one, with Ankavon, which is Cavan, is where you're from, yeah. but it's the... Uh, it's the crest, yeah, yeah. just the, the old Calvin crest, and then it's like a, oh, just some design over it that uh, I actually got it done here in Calvin. Uh, and oh, the, right, so you went to the tattoo guide. Yeah, 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 um, and yeah, just I wanted to get it because um, you know I wanted to get a tattoo, and I've been thinking about it for ages, and I was trying to figure out something that uh, you know, in years time, I wouldn't go like, oh, why did I get that? That was such a silly phase I went through, yeah. and uh, but you know, I'm always gonna. Like, you know, I obviously <laughs> love where I come from and all that sort of yeah. stuff. And I'm always probably going to be, be here for the rest of my life, so I thought that it'd be a good idea. Yeah, and, it's uh, good. But like it, I'm delighted with it. Yeah, so, it's and now great. I'm just itchy to get loads of them. Yeah, that's it. I think to say once you start, you just want more and more and yeah, more. It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of addiction. Yeah. Yeah, addiction, yeah, exactly. So um, you have, I suppose, a, a jam packed year ahead um, with with the band, yeah. and you've lots and lots of gigs coming up and lots of festivals. So yeah. um, we're really hoping that we'll catch you at some of them festivals kind of coming up in the summer. Yeah. But um, Josh, from uh, me to you, thank you very much for speaking mm -hmm. to us on Lifestyle by Lulu. Thanks very and, much. And um, yes. enjoy your pint of Guinness. So that's it from Lifestyle by Lulu. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope to see you all really soon. So it's goodbye from me, Louise O'Reilly.